Welcome back guys, this is Joe from the DIYcoldplunge.com with another segment of how to build your own cold plunge. In this video, I will show you how to drill holes into your stock tank and install bulkhead fittings for your inlet and outlet holes. If you're new here, I'm doing my best to share everything I've learned while building a cold plunge that I keep outside year round in Minnesota. There's plenty of resources at the links in the description, so check those out if you're interested. And now let's dig in. Of course, the first step is to take any measurements for where you're actually going to drill the holes. Once you have that mapped out, Mark your spot and then we can get to work. All right, so to drill the hole, we'll be using a hole saw. This one is one and seven eighths inches. And basically how this is set up is there's a drill bit and it has this circle that is a saw um, attached to it. So as the drill turns, both spin to cut whatever material you're working on. And what this does is it acts kind of as like a pilot hole. So when we drill, we'll line up the drill bit on the crosshair It'll drill through the material first and that'll kind of keep you on track as you drill the actual hole into your tub. The reason we're working outside in is that these can be a little bit tricky to work with. They can, once the, once the teeth kind of grab onto the material, it can kick around and scuff up the outside. Once this hole started and this thing kind of starts chugging, at that point, you can let the, the hole saw do the work for you and it'll kind of go into the hole and it'll be a much cleaner hole on this side than it would on this side if you happen to kind of kick out and scrape the sides. And the reason we want a smooth hole is that this rubber gasket needs to create a seal for the water to stay in. So we want a smooth of surface for the rubber gasket on the inside of the bulkhead union and, you know, hopefully that keeps the water where we want it. So let's do this. I'm going to start with that drill bit right on that crosshair and I'll just slowly start to dig in. See, and so that is kind of the kick that I was worried about. So be careful, go slow at this point. All right, so I'm bouncing back and forth in time um, as you guys see it on this video. I just drilled this hole and as I was drilling it, the thought popped in my head to recommend that you guys practice on some scrap material with this hole saw before you jump right in. And now we're at the point where we just wanna let the saw do the work. So we'll go here, nice and slow, and slowly pick up speed as we need to, and just let that saw do the work for you. So I'm not pushing very hard at all, as you can see, and I've only cut into the top part so far. So nice and easy as you do this. Um, there's no need to rush it. It's better to do it right than go too fast and have it done wrong. Another thing is that as you're drilling, you can ever so slightly kind of wiggle the drill around like that to just help it along. But again, we're not pushing hard. We're letting this hole saw do the work for us. Once you get the whole saw kind of cutting all the way in, you can speed up your drill speed a little bit if you're comfortable with that. And there we go, we've popped through. So this is what that hole will look like after this step. So nice and clean on the inside. We'll clean up some of the, that burring after the fact. So to clean this stuff up, I'm literally just kind of going in with my hand first to clean up as much as you can. And some of that stuff will kind of be stuck. For the rest of it, just grabs a little bit of sandpaper and you can kind of take that edge off and hopefully those pieces will start to just come off. But on the inside, you could maybe go around the edge, but make sure that you're not actually sanding this surface here, that you're keeping it angled so it's literally just the, the corner of that hole. And there, we're basically done. Galvanized tanks are slightly different than the plastic tanks. First, take your measurement. Then, use the plastic washer to map out the most flat spot to drill your hole. The ridges make it a little more complicated, but find the flattest spot that will create the best seal when we tighten the bulkhead fitting. Next, take a hammer with a nail and pound an indent into the tank. I chose to drill a single separate hole into the tank before I went with the hole saw. From here, go nice and easy and let that drill bit do the work. 
For cleanup on the steel tanks, you'll want to use a file around all of the edges. These will be much sharper than the plastic tanks. Do that both on the outside and the inside. Then make sure to clean up all the debris from the drilling and filing. And that's it. Now let's install these bulkheads. Next up is the bulkhead fitting. This is the piece that makes kind of the whole plumbing system happen and attaches on the inside and outside of your tub. And every one of these bulkheads has a few parts to it. First is the tightening nut. Then there's this hard plastic piece that will go on the outside of the tub. That gets tightened with that washing nut onto the back side of the tub. And then on the inside, there's this rubber gasket that helps keep, I'm not gonna pull this all the way off, but that creates the suction onto the tub. So as this tightens, this rubber gasket is really what keeps the water from flowing out of your tub. It creates the seal and keeps everything tight. The first thing to note is that this will work backwards from what you're used to. I'm sure you've heard righty tighty, lefty loosey. This is actually lefty tighty, righty loosey. So this is what we're gonna be using to attach the plumbing to the tub. Now it's time to attach the bulkheads. All I'm gonna do really quick is I have a washcloth with some water and I'm gonna take the bulkhead apart. I'm gonna wipe down the rubber gasket as best I can, clean everything up, and then clean off both the inside of the hole and the outside. Once you do that, then you can just put your bulkhead on and then tighten. And this is opposite of normal righty tighty lefty loosey. This is actually lefty tighty righty loosey. So you do that, get that there, and then just give that a really good hand tighten. So I'm just repeating this for this side here. And remember that you might not have to do this. I drilled that hole and then thought a lot about where I wanted things to go. Um, and I'm gonna end up using both this and the drain side for my inlets into the pump. And there you go, your bulkhead fittings are installed. If this video was helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Again, there's additional resources at the links in the description, so hit those up if you're interested in that. I've got plenty more DIY cold plunge content on the way.